Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for the movie Kingsman The Golden Circle. And overall, I enjoyed this movie. It did a nice continuation of the things that had happened in the first Kingsman, while still kind of retaining its still kind of charm and style, but I think it ran a little bit too long, being a little bit over, well, almost two and a half hours, and there's just certain things that kind of dragged in it that I think could have been streamlined to just make it a little bit speedier, and just had things moving at a better pace, kind of where in the middle is where it kind of lags. So we start off and we see Eggsy outside of the Kingsman uh, shop, the tailor shop, and he gets a gun bolt pulled on him by Charlie, a failed Kingsman that we'd seen in the previous movie. And of course, he's telling him to come with him, and they'd evidently had more encounters, because this is set a year after the incident with Valentine. And, of course, Eggsy doesn't want to do it, and instead just throws him in the car, and we get this cool chase scene between Eggsy in his taxi and the rest of Charlie's henchmen, and we find out that Charlie has a robotic arm, and some cybernetic kind of stuff going on because we learn after this fight that when Eggsy shot Charlie in Valentine's compound that it had made the chip that was supposed to make his head blow up malfunction and instead only destroyed his vocal cords and blew off his right arm. It's kind of weird. It's like, okay, that is a strange way for it to malfunction, but it's okay. Robot arm fight. Yeah. So we get this cool fight scene as they're going through and, of course, Eggsy is able to... Cr he accidentally... In the ensuing fight, he his uh, poison tip blade from his shoe accidentally gets hit into the driver, and they crash. And of course, Eggsy uses that to throw Charlie out of the car, but yet still keeping the uh, robot arm inside. So of course, he's able to get away from the rest of, well, lead the rest of the pack that is chasing him to a place where Merlin can destroy them, and of course he has to go underwater in the damaged car to avoid the police. And, of course, he's like, alright, I need the quickest way to get to my girlfriend's, and because this dinner is important, and he's like, alright, here's an exit, and it's sewer, and, of course, he crawls through it. And, of course, this allows the robot arm in the car to hack into the Kingsman. And, of course, Eggsy gets out, and we find out that the person he's in a relationship with is Tildy, the Swedish princess that he got together with at the end of the first one. This was a kind of cool thing that I really liked in the movie, Eggsy's relationship with Tildy. And, of course, they had to go to one of their friend's birthdays, and, of course, he's kind of, like, trying to do the gentleman thing and not drink, but they're like, oh, come on, just share a drink with us and everything. And they do. So, of course, he goes to prepare for that, and we get introduced to the villain of the film, Poppy. And she pretty much, in this universe, controls all of the drugs. Uh, crack, cocaine, heroin, marijuana, all that kind of stuff. And she she's talking about how she took over, like, these ruins in Cambodia, and pretty much has a 1950s-style hideout. It's like, okay, and she's pretty much giving us some elaboration on her Golden Circle organization and all that through one person who's in it introducing another person. So, of course, she's going through the whole spiel and all that and does not like what the person who was trying to introduce this new person into the organization has done and orders the person that is trying to get in and jail to kill him, and of course, at first he's kind of a little bit hesitant, but then, of course, the one who tries to escape, her dogs, her robot dogs, corral him, and of course he puts him in a meat grinder, and she tells him to go and get ready and everything, and get his makeover, and while this is going on, she's making a burger out of the ground up meat dude, and well, and of course, in tandem with this, we see that Eggsy and them are trying to figure out what's going on with Charlie and who he's working for. We see a new, uh, Arthur kind of like talking to all the other Kingsmen and everything. They're trying to figure out what's going on with this golden circle thing popping up. And then after that, we see that they're showing like all this stuff that's going on. That these people that they try to find 
don't have fingerprints. Their teeth have been filed. They have this tattoo of a 24 karat gold circle on them. And we see that happening to Angel. And of course, he comes back in and Poppy pretty much has him eat the dude. And he's like, mm, yeah, that's good. And because one of her things is you have to follow her all the way. So, of course, the Kingsmen do not take this threat that seriously because they don't know how close they are to the threat actually hurting them. So, of course, we see Eggsy have his cool dinner with Tildy and her parents. And, of course, the father's being kind of a dick. And you see Eggsy, like, throwing out all these turns and everything. But, of course, he's using the glasses. And Roxy, the other Kingsman that survived, is feeding him information and all that. And it's really kind of cool. But, of course, it starts getting a little bit crazy because uh, Eggsy got one of his friends to babysit his dog. And he goes into Eggsy's uh, Kingsman's room because he had taken over Harry's place. And starts fucking around with shit and gets a grenade thing and gets the glasses on. And Eggsy starts yelling at him on the glasses, but it looks like he's yelling at the father and all that. And then, of course, it shows up that... Poppy was able to hack in and figure out all the locations and tried to take out all the Kingsmen, but only succeeded in... Only succeeded by taking out a majority, leaving Eggsy and Merlin alive, because, of course, Eggsy sees his friend blown up. I don't know if Roxy's dead, because... No, it's weird. She made a move to, like, she has tried to escape, but I don't know. That just seems like it could be later brought on. Oh, she's coming back. But for all intents and purposes for this movie, she's treated as dead. So, of course, Eggsy gets to the Kingsman shop and sees Merlin. He's kind of pissed off, but Merlin's like, alright, listen, why would I do this? Why would you do this? You're pissed off. I'm pissed off. I've got my doomsday scenario that i got to go do. Come with me. So, of course, they go to this wine place, go into this wine room, and they find the doomsday scenario is a bottle of whiskey. And, of course, they start drinking it and everything, and they get down to a certain level, and Eggsy is able to see that uh, there's the Kingsman symbol, where it's saying that it's made in Kentucky, but instead of having a regular K, it's with the Kingsman symbol. So, of course, this is their only kind of clue to go on, and they go, because it, and they're like, all right, let's figure out what this is about. It's kind of weird to have the doomsday scenario be this. So they go to the Statesman place that where they make all the whiskey, and all different kinds of, like, stuff, and they're like, all right, oh, biometrics? Okay, this place is different, so, of course, that's when they get introduced to Channing Tatum's character, and he's like, it's kind of rude to barge in without knocking and all that kind of stuff, and, of course, he knocks them both out, and he thinks that they're spies or whatnot, and shows them Harry is alive, and, of course, he doesn't believe who they are, so he's getting ready to, like, light them on fire with alcohol on their crotches, <laughs> and, of course, Halle Berry's character comes in, and we get introduced to, like, what's going on, that the statesmen are the U.S. branch, kind of similar to the Kingsmen, and she shows that their doomsday scenario had a umbrella, had an umbrella, and it had the, uh, statesman symbol with the kings, with, like, on that as well. So it's like, oh, okay. And he's like, I'm sorry about that. And we get kind of introduced to them. They run similarly. The weirdest thing to me was that in The Kingsman, it made sense that they were like a tailor shop and all that. It's cool. And their code names followed more of like Arthurian legends. With The Statesmen, they go by alcohol titles and stuff like that. It's like, okay. I thought that they would do more kind of code names for like American kind of folklore kind of stuff, or to that kind of rationale, just like, okay, because we find out that Channing Tatum's character's code name is Tequila, Halle Berry's is Ginger Ale, along those kind of effects. It's like, okay, and their head is Champagne, and that's Jeff Bridges, and he just wants them to call him Champ. And I'm like, okay, we need to find out more about this Golden Circle. Got any leads? It's like, um, pretty much just Charlie's ex girlfriend. So I was like, okay, what's gonna happen is, Merlin's going to stay here and try and figure out how to get your hairy dude back because he's alive, but he has amnesia because we get a cool scene that actually does a pretty good job of getting us up to speed and that they have this alpha gel kind of thing that Tequila and Ginger Ale were able to get onto Harry because they saw what was going on at the church 
and we're able to get to him in time, but he thinks that he is still a butterfly expert. And he doesn't remember anything. And it's like they're trying really hard to jog his memory, even trying to reenact the Kingsman uh, water scene by pretty much attempting to drown him. But of course, Merlin pulls the plug because nothing's happening. He's just panicking in there. So of course, they keep kind of like trying to figure out ways while Eggsy and Whiskey go off to this music festival to find Charlie's ex-girlfriend. And of course, Whiskey strikes out and Eggsy's the one that gets there. But it was kind of weird because they find that, we find out that the statesmen have an uh, ability to track people but the tracker only works if it's inserted in mucous membranes. It's like, okay, so this is just mainly trying to force a fight between Eggsy and Tilde. Because it was kind of funny. He pretty much gets to the position that he's getting ready to go for it. But he goes to the restroom and he does a very kind of mature thing. Saying, like, listen, I need to sleep with this chick for the mission. But I won't do it unless you give me your permission. And she's pissed off about it. Now, granted... That is a big thing to ask, but I like that they shared the conversation, and she kind of like pissed, like gets pissed off, and kind of just stops talking to him. And is like, okay, so Exy goes out and pretty much just makes like he's about to go for it, and is just using his finger to insert the tracker into her, and of course that works. And then he's like, you know what, I can't do this, and leaves because what kind of cemented it for him to doing it is that she had the golden circle tattoo on her as well. So, of course, they do that, and they pretty much have to wait until she gets to a place so that way they can, like, track it to whatever's going on. Because at this point in time, we have learned that Poppy has poisoned all of her drugs and is pretty much trying to get legitimized so she can go home. Simple enough pot, actually. So, we see Tequila is poisoned, and, of course, she shares the stage as Blue Rash. She's also captured Elton John, who has a more prominent role in this movie than I thought he would. Because she's like, shows everything, and it's like, oh, okay, well, I, if you legalize all these drugs and everything, and sign this, and pretty much give me amnesty and immunity and all that, I will give you all the antidote to this. I'll input the code, I've got distribution centers everywhere, okay, there we go. And, of course, the President of the United States pretty much says, hey, this will take care of everything for me, and is planning to make it look like he's trying to do appearances to do this and help these people, but he's just going to let them die, just get them into places, which we see later in the movie, and just pretty much stack them in boxes as people get closer to death from going from like, oh, I'm manic, oh, now I'm dancing and crazy, oh, I'm paralyzed, now I'm dead. And, of course, they cure Elton John in their commercial thing, because that was a big thing, because... Elton John got infected with it because he partied with the Angel dude, and of course they killed the Angel dude because he didn't follow Poppy's instructions. I was like, okay. So, well, that's all kind of wrapped up. We get Eggsy to the point where he's able to figure out how to jog Harry's memory and goes and buys a puppy because Tildy had bought him a puppy to replace the dog that died in the Kingsman attack. So he does the kind of same thing and jogs Harry's memory by making pretend that he was going to shoot it. And then that brings him back. It's like, okay, come on, Harry, we got to do this. Uh, but he's still a little off because he still sees butterflies and everything in his judgment. It's made more to show that he still has to recover from what's going on. And I kind of like that. It kind of put a little bit of unpredictability. It kind of cliche kind of stuff, but it works well and isn't really done stupidly. So, of course, they figure out that Charlie's ex-girlfriend has gone to Italy because she got infected with the blue rash as well because there were drugs at the music festival and goes to get the antidote. So, of course, Eggsy, Harry, and Whiskey go off to try and get it. And Harry, of course, is kind of a weak spot because of the whole butterfly thing going on. But they are able to get in, get the cure, and are trying to leave. But, of course, Charlie makes a spinning death trap in this heat thing to try and kill him, which of course doesn't work. And of course they're pretty much trying to hide out and everything and Eggsy's looking, oh, like, here's a cure. Alright, this'll work. But of course, Golden Circle forces pull up and Whiskey's trying to save Eggsy from getting shot or whatnot, but in the ensuing thing, the antidote is broken. And Harry is like, that ain't right. 
And of course, we see Whiskey go out, pretty much taking out all the forces, and Exit and Harry are having a conversation, and Harry's like, listen, I think he's a double agent or whatnot, I don't think this is going to work. And of course, Whiskey comes back in, and is like, hey, not like I didn't need any backup or whatnot, and then of course, Harry shoots him in the head. And of course, Exit pulls out the alpha gel and everything, he's like, what the fuck's going on with you, Harry? So of course, this does a strain and everything, I'm like, alright, we just need to go back up and get more into it. Of course, Charlie destroys the <laughs> distribution center, along with his ex-girlfriend, and goes kind of back to Poppy. So they're like, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Because the only other thing they had to go on is because when Eggsy went in to get the antidote, he had to use the name of the person that was picking it up. And so, of course, they were able to figure that out and figure out Poppy's place in Cambodia. So, of course, they go and get there, and it's him, Eggsy, Merlin, and Harry, and they're all like, oh, okay, let's do this. And it was really weird because Merlin is then put into a position where he dies. This is because Eggsy steps on a landmine, and, of course, they switch places, and... Of course, Merlin pretty much draws in the rest of the guards and takes them out. We get a pretty cool fight scene with Eggsy and Harry just beating the shit out of all the rest of the people that are at Poppy's place. And this is a nice kind of contrast because we got Harry back and he was trying to do a kind of a reminiscent scene in the first Kingsman where he's like, manners make it the man. And he still wasn't up to snuff because he has just gotten his memories back and he still has to deal with the fact that he doesn't have an eye on one side, and that'll fuck with his depth perception. And seeing him get his ass kicked there, and then getting towards the end of the movie and getting back into hairy shape was pretty cool. So, of course, they're doing this, and we get Whiskey back, and, of course, Whiskey goes off and tries to stop them. And, well, he tries to stop Harry. It makes it look like, okay, we don't know if he's double-edged or not. So, of course... We see him get through the rest of the things. We see Elton John help Harry take out one of the dogs. They, we see Eggsy have a really cool fight with Charlie and just destroy him. T like, he hacks into his arm and kind of fucks with him and then beats him. He's like, listen, I'm going to do the gentleman thing. Puts one arm behind his back and just takes him out and then breaks his neck. Like, that was pretty good. So, of course, they start to enter the endgame scenario where... They are trying to get Poppy to give them the codes to release the antidote. And, of course, she's like, I don't have to do anything. So, of course, they dose her up with heroin, so that way she's got the blue rash and everything. And they pretty much get to a point like, I think you gave her too much, and she pretty much ODs and dies, but not before saying the password, pretty much, which is kind of convenient. It's like, you did a pretty big gamble with that. It's like, all right, and as they're about to enter it, Whiskey comes in, and we find out he is not a double agent. But he had similar views to the president and wanted the rest of the drug, the people who use drugs and are going to die with this virus to die because his wife was killed by drug people. And it's like, okay, at least he wasn't a double agent. At least he had a kind of solid core reason for why he wanted this to continue on. So, of course, then we get this really cool fight scene with him using his pretty much electrified laser whip and Eggsy and Harry, and they do a really good job of the fight scenes in this movie, and just really making it so that way it's easy to follow what's kind of going on. Switching back and forth between, like, Eggsy fighting Whiskey and Harry being the main one fighting Whiskey, and of course they get him into a position where they just shove him in the meat grinder. They're able to enter in the antidote key, and everybody's back to normal. We see that one of the people that was working for the president, had been infected, and knew of his plan, and uses that to have him impeached. And, of course, everything's kind of back to normal, because Eggsy had an invested interest, because he had found out that Tilde was also infected with the virus, and because she was depressed about what was going on between her and Eggsy. And, of course, she's back to normal and all that, and at the end of the movie, we find out that Eggsy gets married to her, so he becomes a prince, and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool, and they have Elton John there and all that, it's like, okay, that's kind of cool, and they even have the statesman there, we see that the statesman had decided to buy a distillery in Scotland, thereby helping bankroll and get the Kingsmen back up and kind of draw ties closer, they're like, okay, this two Galad thing's kind of confusing me, so one of you guys can take whiskey, and 
And Ginger's like, you know what? I'm going to put my hat in the ring because we learned in the movie that every time she was trying to get into a field agent position, Whiskey would shoot her down. He'd be the one vote to take her out. So, of course, the rest of them say yes. So she becomes a new Whiskey. It's like, okay. And I liked her character. There wasn't much done with her. But I'd like to see if other movies or one I've heard that they're doing a more statesman, like could potentially do a statesman's movie have more of her and just, like, develop her more because she's an interesting character. They just didn't do too much with her in this movie. Now, granted, I like that they focused on the main parts of the movie, the Eggsy and Tildy and Harry and them being the, mo the main ones with the character development. So, that's kind of what's going on. They kind of get Tequila back up and running and he's like, okay, and they kind of send him off to work with the Kingsmen as well to, of course get more cooperation going, and it was kind of cool seeing him pop out, he's in the king, in a Kingsman suit, got a English style hat on, but he's still wearing the cowboy boots, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty cool, so I'm interested to see where another movie would go, and what's going on, like, if they make, like, the Statesman spinoff, and how that would go, and I overall enjoyed how they kind of, like, progressed, and showed pretty good relationship, kind of, conflict between Eggsy and Tildy, him being a secret agent and her being a princess, and kind of going through that, not making it one side or the other or kind of crazy. They kind of tried to balance it out. Same way with Harry and his recovery, and him and Eggsy kind of getting back on, where Eggsy has gotten more experience, but he still looks up to Harry as a father and a mentor, and him trying to get back to that point. I hope that as they are rebuilding the Kingsmen, that they put Harry as, like, the new Arthur, and kind of go along that route and try and rebuild it in a pretty interesting way like that. So, I overall enjoyed the movie, though I think that it kind of drags in trying to find out more information for the Golden Circle. Mainly with, like, the Italy and the whole music festival, it kind of was like, there could have been some clearer way. It felt like they had a good, strong place to begin, and a good, strong place to end. They just had to try and finagle the middle a little bit better. But if you're really into action movies and, r uh, like, well-done action movies, I'd highly recommend seeing this because it really works with the characters and just showing their action and just showing how they kick ass and just doing it in a really kind of cool and kind of fun way. So those are my opinions on the movie. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.